This is a first uh, conditioning circuit, so we want them to move fast, get their energy up, their heart racing, but also do a lot of cartwheel type drills. So over here, we're just going to work on sideways leg swings. So Coach Brianna is going to do sideways leg swings over the cone and back over the cone and back. So they're gonna hopefully realign their hips a bit. Do you wanna do one on the other side? Good. And then another exercise to help them learn how to straighten out their hips is gonna be a front support and some big flutter kicks. Ask them to make sure they're pointing their toes in those flutter kicks so they get used to good form. And then they're going to come to the next bar and they're going to practice being able to kind of drive at the same time as they put their leg down. And if you could do it one more time and ask them please to finish with a straight leg behind them if they can. Good. And the next one, a little bit of conditioning, we're going to do a mountain push-up, look inside of the telescope, and another mountain push-up, look inside the next telescope. Then we're going to do three really big straddle donkey kicks, hands on the eyes, open straddle. And you can have them start with feet together or in straddle, depending on their level. And then they're going to come to the next mat. They're going to jump up and jump down. And the next mat, they're going to jump up sideways and jump down sideways. And then they're going to come to the beam and they're going to jump open, close, open, close, open, close. And then they're going to come to the balance beam and they're going to do their sideways cartwheel drill. So butterfly hands, jump from side to side. Make sure to tell them to start before the blue and stop before the blue metal thing so that they don't get hurt. On the blue mat, they'll th do three tuck donkey kicks. And if your kids are advanced enough, for fun, you can tell them on the last one to do a forward roll in right into the crash mat. And then last but not least, on the balance beam, they're gonna put their hands on the mat and they're going to jump sideways. In, ask, encourage them to squeeze their ankles together for this drill. And that is the first circuit. They can go around three or four times. We're not calling switch, it's cardio, so they're just going around. How do you on? So this is the cartwheel circuit. Sean's gonna show us. So arms up, we're gonna to touch to six and a seven, and try to play on the 10 and 11. Um, the modified version is feet here, six and seven, and then hop. And then arms up for the less advanced group. And we're going to swing into a lock punch here. Follow people. Hip hold. Press against the wall. Shorter. Nice and low. All right, here we're going to hold the bar. And they're going to kick. Back kick. They can put it back on the alligators. And they can switch legs to the other leg. Kick. Over here, hold the bar, and step on the purple mat, and kick back into lunge. Step, kick, back into lunge. And the challenge can be to go up to front support? Yep. Kick. There you go. So this will generally help them with the uh, mill circles also once they get up to mill circles with bar. So helps two things. One thing that helps two things. Um, Keep their hands on their hips and relax their arms. Just kick. Two, three, and switch legs. One, two, three. Awesome. And over here, back foot is on the blue star and front foot is on the green star. They're gonna put their hand on the bar, the other hand on the bar, their feet, the foot that's actually, do I got it wrong again? They're gonna bring the foot, the back foot goes to the blue star, since it starts on the blue star, and then the front foot goes to the, the green star. Okay, and then they bring their arms up so that they know exactly how they should be finishing their car rolls. So it's a good uh, foot and hand indicator for the car rolls. Over here. For the little ones, they can, they can start off the mat, step on the star, and they can kick, kick to the froggy spots. Okay, for the taller ones, we want to put this right that panel mat in front. Their hands would go on the panel mat, and then they would reach. This is simple. All right, so. 
They're gonna take the star, kind of fold it, put it under, squeeze it in a passe. Or you could use a dot, it might or be a little easier. Use a dot. Yes. Use a dot, and they're gonna squeeze it in a passe, and they're gonna let go, take a step, and then kick, kick for the little ones. The taller ones, you can bring the panel mat here. Same thing with the star or the spot. Recommend the spot first, but if there's no spots, you can definitely use the star. Thumbs up, and then let it go. <coughs> and then there's your station for the car. Thank you, Coach Lon. You're welcome, Coach. So here in the front of the room, we're going to work on a little more basics, teeter-totters and cartwheels. Coach Sean is going to explain it to us. All right, so we are going to take these foam noodles, put it between our arms and ears. We're going to squeeze it. We can step in this circle and teeter hop and out. So it goes in the circle and let's go out of the circle and then you finish how you started. Okay. Awesome. And then we'll do cartwheels one by one so everyone can go sit on the beam. Beam. And, and we're going to do cartwheels on the purple line, right? Yeah, they can do cartwheels on the purple line. Do you want to use these two? They could. Should we? Yeah. So Good. if they're advanced and they can squeeze these between your left, their ears, they're going to step. So if they don't know what leg goes in front, what foot goes in front, you can stamp their foot and you can stamp the hand also that goes out first. And stamp here, stamp here, and then they'll do the car. Nice. Thank you, Coach John. Thank you. You're welcome, Coach Mina. There's just one last thing I want you to show us, which is going to be for our stretch. So Sean is going to show us our pike leg lifts and our straddle leg lifts, which we're going to do in our warm-up so that we get those kiddos ready for their cartwheels. Yeah, single leg. So pike, kick. And straddle. And they're harder than they look. Thank you, Coach John. You're welcome, Coach Minna.